check it again tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. We'll be here. This summer, I had the privilege of going to a remote island off the coast of Fiji called Batiki. Batiki is very small, 12 square kilometers, home to 234 natives. They have very limited health care, limited access to care. In fact, the only health care they receive comes from a nurse that's appointed by the government that lives on the island and services the Batiki Island Nurses Station. I went with six medical professionals this summer and we volunteered for two weeks in that clinic. We saw almost everyone who lived on the island. We made house calls, we saw folks in clinic, we saw adults, the elderly, and we saw all the children at the primary school. It was amazing to me to be able to work in that environment where patients were so grateful, uh, we were able to provide excellent care at a low cost with really uh, very, very limited resources. It was real medicine. I relied on history and physical exam. I talked to the patients. I talked to their families. I listened to their chest. We had no testing equipment. We had a hemoglobin A1C machine that we used to check for diabetes. We also had an Alive Core mobile EKG machine that we used on our mobile phones. But other than that, we had no diagnostic test. In the US, we use diagnostic tests for everything. For example, if you go to the emergency room, you will get a head CT because of the fact that many doctors feel like they need to practice defensive medicine because we are a very litigious society. In VG, we didn't worry about being sued. We worried about taking care of patients, doing what was right, and giving the very best medical care we could with the resources that we had. In the U.S., we need to be better stewards of the resources that we have. We need to get back to doctor-patient relationships. I know everything about all my Fijian patients and their families, their values, because I had time to speak with them. Here in the U.S., it's 10 minutes or less per patient. It's always about throughput, and we're missing the basics of a doctor-patient relationship, which is just that, a connection between doctor and patient. People are people. Whether they live in Batiki or whether they live in Raleigh, North Carolina, or Washington, D.C., or Oregon, it doesn't matter. We all have needs, we all have dreams, we all have desires, we all have families that we care about. We need to get back to healthcare policy that allows and promotes the time that doctor and patient spend together.